Thank you much. Well, it was a final farewell for 41. A private funeral was held at St. Martin's Church yesterday. Then he was carried by train to his final resting place. He has been laid to rest at his presidential library in College Station. Thousands lined up to pay their respects as a train made its way there. A special train, in fact. The library and museum is set to open this morning. Reopen once again. Kathy Hernandez is live there to tell us more. Kathy? Good morning. The library and the museum is set to reopen this morning, only hours after the burial of President George H.W. Bush. Hours after a country said goodbye. This is the very moving tribute to President George H.W. Bush. So many people are still feeling this morning. The journey began in spring. The honor guard placed his flag draped casket on Union Pacific 4141. Thousands and thousands lined the train tracks, waving flags, holding signs, and saluting the 41st president of the United States. The engine roared in small Texas towns like Magnolia, Navasota, and College Station. Nobody was um, speaking. Everybody had their hands over their heart. I took my cowboy hat off and you know, paid homage to it. The procession then made its way to the Bush Presidential Library. More than 1,500 A&M Corps cadets stood at attention on Barbara Bush Road, honoring Bush 41 for the last time. I thought it was really important for me to witness this because he did support, him and his family did support A&M and the country. These new pictures released overnight of the private burial. In one, the flag presented to the president's only living daughter, Dorothy. After a life of service, faith, and family, President George H.W. Bush is home forever next to the love of his life. It's just a great loss, but sometimes great things aren't forever. And we're just glad to be here and have a chance to say goodbye. Admission here to the library and the museum will be free today and tomorrow. His graveside will open to the public tomorrow morning. He is next to his beloved Barbara and also their young daughter, Robin, who died at just three years old from cancer. Reporting live in College Station, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.